what's up guy once again you are welcome to our channel today all right guys there was drama in court today as uh Einek was totally disgraced humiliated by the judge after peter will be overwhelmed court today with uh, evidence um what actually happened that day um Einek lawyer objected to peter will be using the decal the, the the document they gave them as evidence against them so they objected to it, but the manner in which the lawyer to INEC objected to Peter be using this document that was gotten. They, this is a document they paid for. They paid one one point five million to obtain this document, which is supposed to, in a way, is supposed to be free because everything was already done for this is a public document in public domain. So, but INEC objecting to it, the judge had to slam. And totally disgrace the INEC lawyer for not following court proceedings. That normally, if you want to object to it, you put it in writing, but not causing a scene in court, raising up to object to what Peter B was tendering. And then the court telling you should give reason for objecting to this document. You should give reason. Peter B said that, and Peter B lawyer said that this document were gotten from INEC, their signature and everything is on it. Why are they objecting to it? Why are they objecting to it? So this has caused reaction in Nigeria. Nigeria are beginning to know. It is not, it's so glaring, it's so obvious that INEC is trying to hide its shady deals. Because before they were able, even, even able to get this document, they had to subpoena the INEC chairman because Peter Obi lawyer reported to the court and they had to subpoena INEC before they could even allow them access to this document. Before they allow them access to this document. So you can see the impunity that is going on. And you know, Peter B lawyer and even a uh, PDP lawyer, they've complained earlier before this time that the manner and way in which INEC conduct itself, that INEC is behaving as a candidate in its own case. INEC is behaving as a candidate because why will INEC in anything they'll be, they'll be, they'll, they'll be supporting APC? That they are behaving as if they are, they are, they, 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 they are candidates. They are involved in this case. Meanwhile, INEC is supposed to be neutral. They are not supposed to be involved in it. And as the they are only to be supposed to be called upon to testify by the court. But you see INEC objecting to whatsoever both PDP and Labour Party does. That's what INEC does now. They object to it. And this is this is a shame. It's a shame. It is what they've come down. So now the lawyer, they mean the judge, noticed this. And, you know, the judge have been noticing all of I make you know a uh, contempt because all of these things are all contempt of court. They refuse Peter Obil lawyer access to Beavers. They refuse both articles lawyer and Peter Obil lawyer access to Beavers information. You know, you can see the evidence Peter Obil is bringing up. This is a papa. I think I don't know whether this is a, this is a papa's local government. I, don't, I can't really, but this is not La Media Papa. That's Lagos State evidence. This is exhibit in court. And then, um, so, yeah, so guys, uh, from the look of things, although, although a lot of people are very apprehensive, they, are, they don't believe in court anymore. After the 26th of May, uh, Supreme Court judgment that actually, um, that made Tinubu and Shetima to escape disqualification, Supreme Court ruled in their favor. A lot of people had um, had given up on, on, on the judiciary. They've given up. But but I think it's not yet time to give up because now the judiciary is on trial. From the look of things, let me just tell you what's happening. From the look of things, it appears there's going to be a rerun. A rerun is going to be ordered by the Supreme Court. Now, if a rerun, because the evidence of fraud is so glaring, is so obvious, they will do a rerun. They will do a rerun. Now, you know, of course, you know, they cannot remove. I think somebody even said, a legal practitioner said that the president can be removed. He said it's possible the tribunal can remove a sitting president, whether immunity or no immunity can be removed. But you see, the problem is that the, fa the Nigerian factor is what people are actually scared of. The Nigerian factor is 
a problem because one of APC's lawyer came out and said that nowhere in the world a tribunal have removed a sitting president. It has never been done that the sitting president is removed by the tribunal. So Nigeria is not going to be an exception that Tinubu will not be removed. That's what he said. Highest, what he said that there's going to be a rerun, but to remove Tinubu is out of question. Is out of question. So you see, this is a problem, and that is why a lot of persons do not believe in the judiciary anymore because they see the judiciary, the world over is this still the same. Judiciary, the world over is the same, but I think Nigeria is even the worst. Nigeria is the worst. You can see the impunity and the contempt of INEC in not even obeying court. God said, Peter, we should get access to the beavers. They refuse. Right from time, they refuse they have access to, be, to beavers because they know with the beavers' information at hand that they will shoot themselves in the foot. They know it. And able to even get access to these materials that they are objecting to the, after Peter B tendered the same material in court, it took a while. Now, Peter B lawyer said they have they have tried to um, confront on several locations, but to no avail. It had to take the intervention of the court to subpoena the INEC chairman, and he knows that if he's been subpoenaed and he doesn't obey, that will lead him to jail. He will serve a jail term. So he quickly ordered that INEC should give Peter B um, uh, lawyers those document. And now, of course, you know, if you watch the whole election proceeding and everything, you know that they hurriedly, they hurriedly, in fact, at the point they delayed to announce the results because they were trying to, uh, they were trying to synchronize all the reports and all the evidence, but they couldn't do that. They couldn't. Look at the River State. The River State election was totally a sham. To the extent that both uh, BBC and Premium Times were able to, to, I mean, to unravel the whole shady deals that happened in River State. What Wiki did in River State was, you can term it as a magic. It was a magic. Because even AP themselves, APC, APC Chief Ten said what WK did was a magic, that they have never gotten 25%. Even with all their rigging, they've never gotten 25% in River State. But what WK did was a magic. That's what Baduru said. It was a magic that they never believed it can happen. So the whole thing is, is so glaring. And even I'm telling you, even the judges themselves knew. They know. They know this election was rigged. So that is why I said the judiciary is on trial and it's better for them to do the needful and let's watch out and see how the OT. I think the OT will take six months or so. It will take six months. Let's watch out and see how the whole proceeding plays out. So guys, what do you think? Please like this video right now. Like the video. Drop your comment. Let me know what you think.